Thursday 6 if I'm not wrong oh my god I have a problem with the dates guys I I often don't know what day are we what day we are and then the date but yeah it should be Thursday because tomorrow is Friday then the weekend gonna come up so yeah going to the gym now I think this week I've been going since Monday usually I go every day I allow myself like uh, one day uh, rest I'm a, a week sometimes if I really have an emergency or something two days is fine also you know it's okay to miss and uh, sometimes it's even better to let uh, your body rest you know? but uh, as long as I don't feel like injuries or I don't feel like my body is getting weaker or something I, I'm just still going you know like um, I'm still young you now I'm just 30 years old so I'm not gonna act like oh I'm old now I have terrible back pain and stuff like this no not yet although like my Rib cage, if I could say, like kind of hurt so bad since I I did my sparring from the first reel I posted with the bear when he, he put me to the floor actually three times during this uh, this sparring and uh, so yeah I'm preparing right now for a coming fight in uh, Malabon so uh, that's where I fought last time uh, that I won I was fighting as a guy and uh, it was even bigger than me I would say you know it felt heavier as well. And then uh, it was very pushy, if I would say. And then I, while, when I was looking back at the at the video, I feel like I could have moved around more. And I was, uh, you know, I was a bit like not too concentrated because of the small ring. You know, the ring was so small. I think the ring was like maybe like three by three, you know, uh, meters. So it's it's very, very small. And it wasn't even flat, you know, it was a bit like a slanted like uh, floor, you know, but it, it, it was fun, you know. Yeah, so far, like my first ever fight, uh, my opponent backed out. So they, the coaches, they say now, oh, you, it's a, you won the fight because the guy didn't show up, you know. Although you already paid for the fight because we need to pay for the fight, right? Uh, usually it's 500 pesos, 600 pesos. So the guy like did the way in, I paid for the fight, but he didn't show up, so they say I, I won by default, but I, I don't like that, you know, like maybe the guy would have beat me up, you know, something, so they said no, but it's like this, Talaga, you know, like uh, you don't have a choice, so you, you won, and then the second fight I won, so okay, let's say I won the two fight, so I'm gonna fight like my third fight, right, which is only my second actually, you know. Uh, on the same gym again in Malabon on the Sunday 24th you know? so I'm really preparing for for this right now guys because I just don't want to lose you know I mean it's uh, I would say I have an uh, additional pressure like uh, as I said like uh, I'm here in the Philippines so when I go to to the gym for example there in the boxing gym in Malabon I'm the only white dude you know and most of the time I'm I'm a good like one head above them in terms of height so people are looking at you and you kind of feel like oh because you're kind of bigger than them they expect you to be better but sometimes it's you know the size doesn't doesn't matter at all in boxing you know i mean i used to get my my ass beat so bad by a, by a coach in the gym like he would get inside my 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 space right and it would just like hook me on the on the body it would be like terrible so yeah size doesn't matter at all i was in boxing it depends on your style right but anyway going to the gym now and then uh, let's see i don't know if i will do sparring today uh, i will see who's who is here with, uh, with us in the gym i like to spar with al but sometimes uh i feel like when I spar with him, it's hard to learn something because everything goes too fast with me. He's like, uh, although he's holding back on me, right? Because he's a, he's a pro, right? And uh, but uh, yeah, although he's holding back on me, I still feel like it's everything goes too fast for me to to really like learn something out of this sparring, you know? Um, because of course I'm a beginner, so it's really. The, the gap is really huge but you know what I like about sparring with him and also sparring with the coach anyway is that actually when I went to the fight last time 
I felt the guy was powerless. You know, I felt tired on the road because he kept on pushing me, and I, I was trying to push him back. You know, uh, so this really like made me tired. But aside from that, the, I mean, no disrespect or something. You know, but I think it's just because I get I get beat up every day in the gym in certain ways. You know, that when I went there. I felt like it was nothing in terms of, of uh, power and uh, his my opponent's technique. I mean, obviously, I'm sparring with the coach, so they get they, they have to be better, right, than us. You know, it was that's why I want to I want my training to be really hard. I want to be pushed to the limit, um, and then I don't. I of course the coach they hold on on me, right? Or else I would be done within 45 seconds. You know? They're using a lot of strength and still like. Uh, you know good technique on me so at least when I go to the to my fight I would I would say almost a piece of cake you know I was actually surprised in my first fight that you know I, I was not hurt in any ways you know because during my sparring the sometimes like my ears are like what do you call that um, my ears are like uh, what do you call that whistling you know my ears are whistling my last time my jaw was hurting like I got like a uppercut in my in my in my jaw here and then uh, my ear were like whistling like crazy you know and it, yeah it, it was hard and also you know I prefer it to be this way like this when I go to a fight I know I won't have like a surprise like oh what's happening here I'm not prepared etc etc you know so yeah guys uh, see you in the gym later with coach Dodds and then let's go let's go get this fight Oh, 
So guys, I'm just done with my four rounds sparring with Bear. Well, you already know the the result, but you know I can't wait to see the footage to to see what did I did wrong, what did I do wrong, what did I did what did I did right. Sorry, I'm still stunned. And uh, but definitely, if you compare with some footage that I I didn't upload this on my iPhone from like two or three months that I was boxing compared to now I'm getting it I'm, I'm getting hit less so still a good thing uh, usually on the third round uh, I'm having a bit of hard time to to put my power on the straight on my right arm to cross you know uh, especially because I know that bear is very fast so he, at any time he can just you know hook me in the hook me in the chest it's my coach, Coach Bear, who beat my ass almost every day. Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? 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 But yet they are so soft and kind, and they're so willing to 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 be patient and to to teach you like the moves. And uh, nobody has a, like a like a sure dimensional like ego here just because just because they know how to fight. You know, like they will be a bit like uh, Maya Bang. You know, like I don't know how to say in English, but you know, they'll be like full of pride. Yeah, yeah, very very like prideful. You know, no, everybody's so nice and. Uh, Every day they really encourage you to, you know, to, to get better, they, you know, anyway, guys, talking too much now, I need to go back to training. It's gonna be like a, more than a round of rest now, so, yep, I'm gonna finish to record my training and I'll see you guys soon. See you later. Hey. Oh, I'm going to get to the